So, race 37. It's the chase final for the starter's orders. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the one that Martin wants to win. He's won the last three runnings. So, let's see how we go. So, the breakup for Josh Southern, Damister for Martin Leedham, Steel George for Hugh Gray, Darren Thompson's Like a Property, Martin Leedham's Nicky Mass, Pedro Hogan's Everybody's Fall, Pompey Adrenaline for Vinnie Gerard, Great Clutterbucks, Pontypool Racing's Star of Belmore, Matt Cooper's Nelidi Moment, Pedro Hogan's Madam Maylene, or Maylin. Craig Beckwith, Roller Six, Pizza Hut and Lamarita Butter, Matt Cooper, Titch Jazz for Alex Cherry and Andre the Giant for Matt Cooper, sends three, <coughs> 15 of them, two and a half miles here at Aintree. Let's see if Martin can train another winner. They're already racing here. And as they settle down, it's, it is Nicky Mass, Pizza Hut and I think a lady moment. As well as the breakup and our first four as they come down to the first of the 14 fences they'll have to take. It's just an elite moment that's probably going to lead us over it. Matt Cooper has come here with three runners, it's a plain one, and they all clear it. So an elite moment from Damister in second and Nicky Mass up against the rail is the grey. I think is Pizza Hut as they get to the second, another plain one, or the leader went straight through the top of it to hang on to his jockey. So in the leading moment leads from Damastra up against the rail is Pizza Hut. Excuse me. Early in the morning anyway. In the leading moment leads by a couple to Pizza Hut and the break up and Damaster. And Alex Jerry's Titch Jazz. Martin Williams and Nicky Mass. The two out one of the Pedro Hogan's horses. Everybody's fallen Madam Mail and we've lost one there. Star of Belmore. Might have gone on the last but I'm lucky to Grey Clutterbuck, he's the only runner in the race, and he's gone. So as they get into a little bit of single file here, there's an Elidi moment that's set a re reasonably good pace here as he comes to the fifth. And he takes it well, and they will clear it. So an Elidi moment by four to damage to the break up and Nicky Mass. Everybody's fallen, Titch Jazz all together. Then we're just back to like a property and Pizza Hut the Grey out wide is still George. Madam May leans in there as they go over the six. Got Lamarita Bus, Pompey Adrenaline. Roller six and Andre the Giant, I can't see at the moment. But it is an Elidi moment. It leads the field. Past the grandstand on the big screen, the seventh. Clears it well. It's the last next time round. So it's an Elidi moment by three to Damastu, who takes a hold from Nicky Mass to Martin Leadham. Runners, outside of that is everybody's full. And the break up, carrying top weight, they swing left handed. As you can see, a couple of those that have been wide already shuffling back a little bit. You really do want to be on the inside on the chase course at Aintree. But it's an Elidi moment by three to Damister and Nicky Mass, then the break up. Everybody's fallen like a property. Pizza Hut and Lamarita butt up against the Rowies Titch Jazz and the Green Silks of Pompeii Adrenaline. Roller Six and Madame Maylene and Andre the Giant just had back marker at the moment. So Matt Cooper's got one at the front, one at the back, and one in the middle. In fact, he's got four runners here. I have just noticed he has got four runners. I can't count. They go over the eighth. They all clear that. So an Elidi moment from Nicky Mass and the breakup and Damister. A little bit wider to the grey Pizza Hut. What does do is like a property to get to the ninth. And he has been headed now by this Nicky Mass. And the leady moment and the break up. These are your first three. Then like a property and Steel George is getting back into it. Great jump there by Steel George. He's jumped himself up into the lead. Shuffles over towards the route. So Steel George now leads from the break up. And then Nicky Mass and like a property in the leady moment. So they get to the 11th. So it's four from home. They all took it well. So Steel George and Nicky Mass. The break up like a property in the leady moment. Moving up well wide now is Titch Jazz and Roller Six and Lamarita Buffs. So it's Nicky Mass heads the break up as we come inside the final half mile from Steel George like a property. Lamarita Buffs and they get to the 12th. That's three from home. They all go over it together. And it's still this Nicky Mass from the break up. Lamarita Buffs like a property. Steel George and Titch Jazz as well as running on now. Damister Roller Six needs to do a little bit more in the leady moments. Going backwards and everybody's four as they go over the penultimate. They all took it well, and it's Nicky Mass that gets up for the lead. So Nicky Mass from Like a Property, Lamarita Buffs and Steel George moving well up on the outside. Is Damister? Is Leadham going to take the this 
trophy for the fourth year running. We're inside the final half, and it's Nicky Mass holding off like a property. Still, George still trying to run on over the last. Nicky Mass was a little bit slow. Still, George like a property. Nicky Mass still, George trying to get up. Nicky Mass, Nicky Mass holds off. Still, George from lack of property. Well done to Martin Leadham. Takes it for the fourth year running. Similar to David Hooley earlier in the season with the novices. Can't remember if Leon did it as well. One race for four years running or four seasons running. Well done. I'm sure Nicky Mass has probably got some a very nice weight. Ten stone nine hundred and twenty. Well well done, whatever. But still George Stu Gray almost took it off him. Like a property Darren Thompson was third. May, Madam Maylin for Pedro Hogan and everybody's full full were fourth and fifth. Didn't get much of a shout for Pedro Hogan. Well that's all the finals done. Let's move on to the last couple of races.